We were slaves in Egypt, and God brought us out from there with a strong hand and an outstretched arm. If God had not brought us out More people Egypt, participate in the Passover Seder than in any other Jewish ritual or practice. So what makes this night different from all other nights? On this night, people around the world engage in an evening of meditation on freedom. This is the bread of affliction which our ancestors ate in the land of Egypt. A dramatic mix of storytelling and singing and drinking and eating, all designed to get one job done, help us wrestle with how to become genuinely free. Let all who are hungry come and eat. This year we are slaves. Next year, may we be free. The message of the Exodus story told at the Passover Seder can be summarized so simply and yet is so profound. It's no less than a three-step meditation on life. One, wherever we are, we are in Egypt. We are imprisoned in some way. Two, there's always a promised land, some better place where we can be freer. And three, to get to that better place, we need to wander, we need to journey together. Let's take each step. Wherever we are, we are in Egypt. How are we who seem so free in Egypt? Well, the fact is that there are millions of people around the globe who are still literally slaves, physically oppressed and persecuted. In an interconnected world, as long as people anywhere are enslaved, we are all slaves. We're all diminished. And none of us are as free as we think we are. So at the Seder, we commit to freeing others and thereby freeing ourselves. Wherever we are, we are in Egypt is also true in that Egypt is far more subtle than just physical slavery. We're enslaved by ideologies and by our prejudices. We're enslaved by our fears of people who are different from us. And we're enslaved by other people's opinions and judgments rather than trusting our own intuitions and insights. Wherever we are, we're in Egypt. How many of us are in jobs that are killing our spirit because we're trapped in an endless cycle of desiring things we don't really need? The newest technology, the most up-to-date fashion, the better car, the bigger house, or the more expensive vacation? How many of us are enslaved to our ambitions and miss our child's recital or soccer game, or miss visiting our friend who is sick, or comforting a friend who's mourning a loss? But there's always a promised land. There's always some better, freer place. At the Seder, we remember leaving Egypt and realize that we have the power to leave our Egypts. Think of Anatoly Sharansky, who was jailed in the Gulag for years, but who kept that promised land, that free and better place, alive in his consciousness. On the day he was released from prison, he was told to walk in a straight line across a bridge to the waiting car that would take him home. Sharansky walked in a crooked line to prove that his body could be locked up, but his mind, his heart, his spirit would always be free. The most important ritual on Passover is to not eat chametz, leavened bread, and to eat matzah, unleavened bread. Matzah is the symbol of freedom, but what really is the difference between chametz and matzah? since both are made from flour and water. Well, it's literally one second. Flour and water left, 18 minutes become chametz, leavened bread. But 17 minutes and 59 seconds, no. The line between chametz and matzah reminds us of the thin line between freedom and slavery. Finally, to leave Egypt and get to a better place, we need to wander. We need to journey together. There is no easy way to leave Egypt, and there is no direct path to the promised land. And whether we're freeing a people from physical oppression or freeing ourselves from the more subtle forms of slavery, we need each other's help. On Seder night, we sit at the table and together tell the story of the Exodus, reminding us that we need to help each other and support each other as we challenge ourselves, our culture, and our society to become free and find the way to the promised land. What makes this night different from all other nights? On this night, we ask with all seriousness, how free are we and how free can we become?